The town of Superior now joining Boulder County, suing the Jefferson County, uh, Jefferson County and also the Rocky Mountain Metropolitan Airport. And it's not seeking money, but rather demanding that the airport stops what are called touch and goes. Those are training flight patterns where pilots circle the airport, sometimes for hours at a time. Well, Denver 7's Rob Harris sat down with Superior's mayor to ask him about the decision to sue and just what he hopes to achieve. So this is uh, just a, a snapshot at 1.32 p.m. today. Like many residents in the Northwest Metro area, Superior Mayor Mark Lasis now spends a lot of time tracking flight paths. Which shows about 12 planes in the pattern above Superior. And I can understand why our residents are just, their patience has worn thin. For years, Mayor Lasis has heard from residents who are fed up with the increasing noise and the concern of lead pollution coming from above their heads. Traffic at the Rocky Mountain Metropolitan Airport has greatly increased since the pandemic. Since 2019, there's been about an increase of about 50% in terms of total operations. A large majority of those operations are these training operations where they're just flying these touch and go patterns over Superior. So we that needs to stop. It's a public nuisance. It's impacting the ability for residents to sleep, to work, to open their windows. A community noise roundtable was convened in 2021 to hear resident concerns and come up with solutions. An RMMA has pledged to speed up its transition away from leaded fuel. But residents and city leaders like Mayor Lasis feel they have no concrete achievements to point to. We decided that we had really no choice but to seek relief in the courts. The town of Superior is joining with Boulder County to sue Jefferson County, which owns RMMA. They're calling on the airport to put a stop to those touch and go training routes. There are times a day where you know, the noise levels are a thousand times above what the ambient levels are. And it's no wonder you know, why we're, we're hearing from our residents because they can't think straight. A spokesperson for Jefferson County told me in a statement that because RMMA is federally funded, it's subject to federal laws that decide things like fuel used and noise allowed. Quote, it is not a legal option for the airport to mandate a reduction in those operations. Essentially, they're saying their hands are legally tied to do the things you're asking. What's your response to that? Sounds like they're not taking ownership of the problem. Jefferson County they can't just export the, the negative consequences of the airport. They can't dump their pollution, noise, lead, otherwise on a neighboring county without consequences. They have to abate a public nuisance. So that's what we're asking for. You know, we're not saying that this airport needs to close or they can't fly out of this airport. For Denver 7? We're saying that this unique particular operation that causes a public nuisance shouldn't be occurring here. I'm Rob Harris. Other local governments around RMMA are calling for action. Last week, Westminster leaders and residents requested the State Department of Public Health and Environment conduct a study on the effects of lead from the airport. And at the state capitol, lawmakers are taking up a bill that would address these concerns. So if it were to pass, the bill would provide state funding for airport transitioning to unleaded fuel. It would also create a state income tax credit for plane owners who pay to switch their planes from leaded to unleaded fuel. This bill will be heard Monday in the Finance Committee.